Okay, so we started a new website, which is a new project uh, that is different from both my patron and from Eight Limbs Us, in that it is an intensive study. <laughs> uh, so I'll be spending a month in Bangkok training every day with Karhats for Super One, who is um, one of the greatest fighters of all time. He's my personal favorite fighter of all time, and he's from the golden age um, of Muay Thai in Thailand, and he's kind of a style specialist, but that doesn't mean that his uh, techniques are for show. They're very effective, um, and he has this incredible ability to kind of be invisible <laughs> and read his opponent really, really well um, that allows this kind of elasticity of movement and um, kind of finesse in the way that he does everything be really evident, uh, which is really cool. So um, I'll be training with him every morning, um, and then at night I'll be doing the audio commentary that uh, people may be used to for me doing on my Muay Thai library training sessions. Um, but because I'll be training with him in the morning and then reviewing those sessions that same evening and doing the voiceover, um, it's going to be almost in real time with the way that I'm training. So it's an intensive study with me uh, as I'm doing this very intense training with Karahat. Um, I'll also be training with Chuck Chai uh, Sasakun, who was former WBC champion. Uh, he's incredible. Um, and I'm not sure when that will be published. Uh, it's too much to be doing uh, voiceover on both of those and publishing it at the same time. Um, so that will also be happening, um, and we'll figure out how we're going to be publishing that later, but it will also be an intensive study. Um, it's uh, crazy <laughs> to me um, that I'm going to be getting that much instruction day by day with Karahat because I learned so much from him in every session when I just get an hour or two with him, um, you know, once a month or something like that. Uh, it kind of reminds me of um, my origins when I was training in Master K's basement uh, and filming my sessions with him because... The Muay Thai he was teaching me was this like PhD level Muay Thai, and I was just a beginner, so uh, I was missing, just in terms of not being able to see and understand all of these things that he was teaching me, um, and now I'm much beyond that. So uh, the things that I'll be able to pull out from uh, training with Karahat every day and reviewing it every night and talking about it and pulling things out in my commentary um, is going to be really valuable for me. Um, and because it's going to be close to real time, people can do it along with me, but it's also going to be something that you can watch 10 years from now as this kind of like archived intensive training um, that really is not uh, temporal to now. Like it, it could be viewed anytime, and I really hope that it becomes like a way that you can study with Karahat really 40 years from now. Um, so I'm excited. Um, I feel like the things that he uh, works with me on do build on, on top of one another. Like, he's always shaping things with me, so being able to do that every day with him um, will be very interesting uh, and instructive on, on what he'll be drawing out of and eliminating from um, my current abilities. And when I trained with him um, at the start of this month for three days in a row, uh, it was really incredible the degree of growth that I was able to get out of those three sessions. Um, I didn't see it when I was in it, um, but I did the voiceover on those, um, and just seeing from day one to day three some of the same techniques he was working with me on was like crazy that that was only three days apart. So um, to be able to do an entire month of that and the depth to which I understand things as I like sink into them. Um, will be far beyond what I've been able to do in only training with him, uh, you know, periodically. Um, Kevin is also going to be doing some work on what he's seeing as we're training. Um, so because I'm in it and I'm trying to do the things that he's showing me, I can lose some of the more um, detailed or surface, like, concepts around things or, like, how it all fits together because I'm trying to do it. 
Um, so there will also be Kevin's point of view of watching it uh, and pulling those things out for, for getting the maybe more framework structure of things, which uh, is going to be really, really helpful, especially for people watching it um, after it's happening. <laughs> so uh, that's the project at the moment. I'm really excited about it. It's starting really soon. And uh, I'm terrified in a really good way. <laughs> you should be scared of the big things that you do because that's how you know that they're good.